Hey guys, my name is Evan and welcome to Country View Acres. So uh, today we are going to be planting a hay field at the back of our property. We've already dissed the field. Uh, we've dissed it several times to get rid of all the weeds. We've added pelletized lime to it to help raise the pH up closer to neutral. And then today we are ready to start planting our grass seed. So we're going to be using this three-point spreader on the back of the tractor to help spread the grass seed out and uh, to, to get the whole field covered with, with the seed. So this is probably not the you know, ideal piece of equipment to plant grass seed, but this is what we have. This is my dad's, I'm borrowing it today, and it is the best option that I have. So we're gonna plant this hay field with four different varieties. So you saw us mixing that up a minute ago with the concrete mixer. So our two main varieties are gonna be orchard grass and meadow fescue. So meadow fescue is uh, it's an alternative to um, to tall fescue, it shouldn't have the endophyte problem that tall fescue has, and it should be a higher quality forage than tall fescue. Um, so we did 50 pounds of orchard grass, 50 pounds of meadow fescue, and then I had an open bag of timothy grass, which is another high quality grass, uh, and that was 20 pounds of timothy, and then I added uh, 25 pounds of red clover, medium red clover. And that clover, what it is, it's a legume, and it will actually help put nitrogen into the soil and it will help feed the other plants, these other grasses around it with nitrogen. So this is, this is the mix, this is our own custom mix that we mixed up today. And uh, we, we're looking for a diverse hay field. Um, some plants will do better than others in certain conditions. So a little bit of diversity out there will probably help ensure that uh, we have a better chance of getting a hay crop um, every few months. So this is what we're planting today. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's open up the garage door. Let's get the tractor out there in the field and uh, start spreading this. So after we got this all spread on the field, it's just going to be sitting on the ground, right? So we're going to take a roller, like a culture packer roller, and we're going to go over this hay field and we're going to try to pack the, uh, the dirt down and push all of this grass seed down into the soil. And uh, hopefully everything will germinate well and we'll get grass here in about two weeks. We'll hopefully have stuff start to sprout up. All right, we got the grass seed all spread out here on the field, and that ended up being about 48 pounds an acre. And on this spreader here, you got this lever where you can adjust how far it opens up, basically how fast you feed the, the, the seed out of it. And I set that at about the minimal setting that you could set it and still have grass seed flow out. So those, those gates on there are only open about a quarter of an inch. And I wanted to make sure I didn't run out of grass seed before I got done with the field. And I was actually, I was able to go over the field two times before I ran out, just a little over two times. So I think I did fairly well. I was able to uh, overlap when I came back the second time. So I think I've got pretty good coverage. So let me uh, grab a different camera here. I'll show you a little closer up here on the ground and you can see all the grass seed. And it's looking, I think it looks like it's spread out pretty even. So on this side of the field over here, 
it's in the shade, it's a little bit moister, so the soil looks darker, and you can see the seed a lot better against this darker soil. So as we get close here, hopefully you guys can see it, but there's these little white specks that are all the different grass seed that has been planted on the ground, and you can see all of this grass seed here. And it looks like we've got seed planted on the ground here, probably about every half inch or so. So I think we've got fairly good coverage of, uh, of seed here on the field. So I'm pretty happy with the way um, this is all looking. So I'm gonna run back now. We're gonna take the seeder off of here. We're gonna bring back a cultipacker or a roller. And it's just a bunch of steel rolling wheels on the back. We're gonna run this over this whole field and we're hopefully gonna pack this down and pack that seed into the soil so it has good seed to soil contact and just get everything packed in so hopefully none of the seed blows away or, or uh, hopefully it stays in place and germinates. So let's go grab the roller. So it's the next day now. I ended up running out of time yesterday. I had to go to work. So I've come back today and I've rolled the middle of the field. So now the, the field has completely been rolled. It's all flat. You can see it, the field looks pretty good, right? It looks nice and even. You don't, have, um, you don't have all those ridges and everything from when we plowed it. So that should have uh, helped uh, mix the grass in, help pack the grass into the dirt. So hopefully that will help it germinate. And then we just need a little bit of rain now. So hopefully Hopefully we'll get some rain this week. Um, it's not the best chances of rain, but we'll just have to wait and see. And then it's gonna take probably, probably a couple weeks. I think it'll take about a couple weeks for the grass to germinate and start to come back up. So we're probably looking, cause today is actually September 11th today. And uh, we're probably looking at the end of September, beginning of October before this really starts to, to grow and start to green up. So we'll come back and check it here in a few weeks. But uh, I definitely tried, as hard as I could to make sure this went right the first time. I've got somewhere close to four or $500 worth of hay seed, grass seed, on the field here, and I wanna make sure that I don't have to redo it. And yes, I did probably uh, put it on pretty heavy, uh, but I, I'm just doing everything I can to make sure it's done and it works the first time instead of me having to come back and start all over or to drill some more seed in next year. So hopefully this will come in all nice and lush and it'll come out perfect and I won't have to do much to it afterwards. 
So this is the roller that I rolled the field with. Um, a lot of people will call this a cultipacker. And it's basically a bunch of cast iron wheels that are on an axle here and they just roll over the field. And those cast iron wheels help make this very heavy. And you can tell that the one I have is an older one because of the shape of the wheel. The wheel is actually um, like a V shape. It's a very pointy wheel. And as it goes over the field, it makes like little ridges and troughs as it goes through the field and rolls over it. So all the newer style cultipackers um, normally have a flatter cast iron roller. Um, and you can just definitely tell from the design that this one is, is definitely older. But it seems to get the job done and hopefully this will all get, uh, this will all get germinated and the, the field will turn out pretty good. So as I was rolling the field, you could see how dry the field had gotten. Uh, you, there was a dust cloud that was coming off behind the roller. Um, the field has definitely dried out with as much as we've, we've dissed it and worked the field. Um, Honestly, I was afraid I wasn't even going to get to plant this field because it had been so wet. Um, we would get these huge downpours and this, this field back here was standing in water multiple times and in between some of the first diskings. And um, yeah, I was afraid that I would never get it worked up enough that I could actually get it to be planted. And luckily this last couple weeks it's been dry enough that um, we did get a rain shower here and there, but it was never enough to make it too muddy to work. And we were able to get this field uh, worked up and uh, get it all prepped and, and planted. So I'm glad that uh, the weather held off long enough for us to be able to get it planted, but now definitely want the rain to come back. So hopefully we'll pray for some rain. Hopefully we get enough rain to get this growing. But uh, yeah, it was definitely dusty out here the last couple of days. So you, this is probably, I'm gonna say this is the dirtiest I've got this tractor so far. The TYM tractor, I've never washed it. And I think now that it's as dusty and dirty as it is, I think, I think it's about time that I give it its first bath. So uh, I think I've got close to 75 hours on this tractor already. I have used this a ton and uh, it's come in very helpful, but uh, it's looking pretty dirty now after working this dusty field. So I think uh, next time I get a chance, I'm gonna go ahead, take a garden hose to this thing, try to hose it down, make it look a little better. But, uh, but I think that's it for this video, guys. So hopefully we get some rain, hopefully the hay field grows. And then next year, I'll have twice as much hay to be able to, to cut and bale. So um, let's just uh, cross our fingers, see what happens. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.